industrial engineering is basically an engineering discipline uh, which deals with the optimization of certain uh, processes like manufacturing process or uh, say providing services to a customer uh, it basically deals with uh, performing uh, one operation uh, many times but each time it should be better than the a previous uh, time it was performed and the efficiency should increase so that's the main objective in industrial engineering but it uh, it relates with everything like from money to knowledge services to even manufacturing products overall you need uh, 10 courses or 30 credits to graduate uh, out of which three courses are mandatory uh, they are manufacturing systems, transportation and supply chain, and warehousing. Uh, other than these three, there are seven uh, elective subjects, but out of those seven, I think uh, four are uh, technical electives and the rest three are pre electives. You may be waitlisted for certain courses like data analysis or uh, courses related to data science but uh, you eventually get into them because they are offered three times a year like spring, fall and uh, summer. Uh, industrial engineering has a very good coordination with the computer science department so there are uh, CS electives as well. You need approval of uh, both the departments, uh, the one you are going from and the one you are going into. Uh, but I don't have much idea about it, but yes, I have heard that it is possible in Georgia Tech and many students have done that. Industrial engineering is basically related to, closely related to transportation and supply chain. So most of the students here uh, tend to do research in supply chain areas as well as operations research areas uh, although it's a different uh, subject and field in ISY department over here but uh, most of the students do research in these two areas as well. It depends on courses uh, but yeah most of the courses uh, do have at least one or two projects uh, throughout the semester. Books or assignments given to us are generally tougher than the final exam or even the midterm exam. So if you um, do your homework and assignment properly, uh, just know the basics of the questions involved in those assignments, then you're good to go with your midterms and even the finals. As far as uh, industrial engineering is concerned, I would uh, suggest the students to uh, get their probability and statistics basics cleared. Uh, I don't think any course uh, or internet uh, videos or certificate is necessary for that, but just going through the probability and statistics curriculum studied in the undergraduate courses would be enough. Mm -hmm.